In this video, we are going to know about an important problem that can occur in a C unit. We have seen that the evaporator coil is frozen. In this video, you can know the reason and solution. Sometimes, the suction line is frozen all the way to the compressor. Let's look at the reasons for this one by one. The first important reason is low refrigerant. Or, this problem may occur because the entire filter is blocked. Blower fan in indoor unit may not work. The thermal expansion valve may not be working properly. Could be a filter dryer or evaporator coil block. These are all causes of evaporator coil freezing. Why evaporator coil freezes when refrigerant is low? Before that, we can first know about pressure temperature relationship. Let's take a box that is completely closed. Fill some air inside the box and fix a pressure gauge and temperature meter in it. Now, when you apply pressure inside the box, the pressure and temperature of the air inside the box increases. When reducing the pressure, the pressure and temperature of the air will decrease. This is the pressure temperature relationship, which means that when the pressure increases, the temperature increases, and when the pressure decreases, the temperature decreases. Now, this box can be taken as evaporator. Refrigerant inside it comes from expansion valve at a certain pressure. When entering the evaporator, the refrigerant temperature is up to 4 degrees Celsius. Behind the evaporator coil, there is a blower motor. It keeps blowing air over the evaporator. There is a filter to filter this air. When this air hits the evaporator coil at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, we get well cooled air. Condensation occurs in the evaporator when the hot air coming from the blower falls on the evaporator. All this condensation water will go out through the drain pipe. This is the process that takes place in the indoor unit of an AC unit. Now, if a small amount of refrigerant is released from this evaporator, the pressure inside the evaporator will decrease. We have already said in the pressure temperature relationship that if the pressure decreases, the temperature will decrease. So, when the pressure in the evaporator decreases, the temperature of the refrigerant also decreases. Refrigerant which is already at 4 degrees Celsius will further decrease to minus. Now, the evaporator coil temperature is minus 4 degrees Celsius. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. Since the evaporator coil is at minus 4 degrees Celsius, the water by condensation on it freezes. It spreads little by little and freezes all over the evaporator coil. As the frozen evaporator coil becomes blocked, the air cannot pass through, so the temperature of the room increases. Next, we can see how the evaporator coil freezes through the blocked filter. We have said that the refrigerant enters the evaporator from the expansion valve at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. This temperature changes with pressure. So, the temperature of refrigerant will be from 4 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. When the air coming from the blower falls on the evaporator coil, the temperature of the refrigerant inside the evaporator increases. The temperature increased refrigerant will go to the compressor. Refrigerant again enters the evaporator at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius from the expansion valve. This will continue continuously. If the filter is completely blocked, air cannot flow from the blower to the evaporator coil. Therefore, the refrigerant entering at 4 degrees Celsius will leave to the compressor at the same temperature. As this continues, the temperature of the refrigerant coming from the expansion valve decreases and enters the evaporator coil at minus temperature. When the temperature of the evaporator coil goes to minus, as we have already said, the water freezes and forms ice all over the evaporator coil. In the same concept, if the evaporator coil is blocked, or the blower fan is not working, air cannot flow, so the temperature of refrigerant will decrease, and the evaporator coil will freeze. 
Thermal expansion valve can also be a cause of evaporator coil freezing. The thermal expansion valve sends the required refrigerant to the evaporator coil. It sends more refrigerant when needed and less refrigerant when not needed to the evaporator coil. If the thermal expansion valve does not close properly, it will send too much refrigerant to the evaporator coil. So, the evaporator coil gets overcooled and freezes. Finally, the filter dryer can also be a cause of this problem. The important job of the filter dryer is to filter the refrigerant flowing in the AC unit. This filter dryer is located between the condenser and the expansion valve. If the filter dryer is blocked, the refrigerant passing through it will not be able to escape completely, but only a small amount will escape. Due to this, the refrigerant goes to the evaporator coil in less amount. So, the pressure of the refrigerant decreases and the temperature in the evaporator coil goes to freezing point. All that we have mentioned above are the causes of evaporator coil freezing. If the evaporator coil is frozen, turn off the AC unit first. Then wait until all the ice melts. You can pour hot water over the ice to melt it faster. Do not attempt to remove ice with any equipment. It may damage any equipment in the AC unit. After the ice melts, check if there is any block in the filter and evaporator coil. Then check if blower fan motor is working. After that, check refrigerant level, thermal expansion valve, and filter dryer. This problem can be solved by fixing any equipment that is not working properly. We can see how to find and fix each equipment problem in the following videos. If you find this video useful, please like the video and share this video with your friends too. Subscribe to our Zebra Learnings channel. Thanks.